during the game, you just like doesn't matter how cold or how wet it is, you just go for it, you know. But then once you come in, you realize how how, how the conditions were, you know. It was crazy. My friend, that ball came. I just closed my eyes and I crumb, had it. <laughs> Lucky that it went in. I wouldn't say I was struggling, but I was having a hard time. I had a hard time. But it's good because now the only thing people remember was me scoring that goal. So. A few days after their victory against Wolves, yeah. Jan delivers supplies to the North Enfield Food Bank. Yes. With Christmas around the corner, their help is essential to thousands of local families. So, boss, you good? How are you? Yeah, good man. Yeah, I've come here for five, six years now. I was very impressed when I came here the, the first year. You know, the, the work they do and uh, what I like about the concept from the food bank is that whatever you do, it helps the people in, in a direct way. And, uh, and they've got lovely people working here. So yeah, I start creating uh, like a certain connection with them. If you could sign that photograph. I've got four photographs because I've got four granddaughters. So. Oh, wow. And those, they live in Holland. And sometimes we stay over to have a night in Belgium. Because you, you come from St. Nicholas? <laughs> yeah, 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 you drive past it, huh? That's there you go. Friend, no, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smile, silly one. Spurs going to win the league, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. Good luck against Chelsea, mate. Yeah, thank you Please very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank thank you. you. Thank thank you. Take care, okay. Thanks, See you uh, soon. Jan and the club have spoken a number of times about a contract extension, most recently last summer, when Jan hadn't decided where his future lay. Because I'm reaching certain ages now, and uh, you know, I want security in my life, like I like to plan ahead, and uh, it might be that in, in two months I have to sell my house, I have to move my kids out of their school, and I don't even know where. My daughter, she loves her school, and, uh, and she can't wait to get to the to the next uh, to the next year, and uh, I'm not even telling her that there's a chance that she she won't go there. Jan's future at Spurs is still in doubt, but the club has reached an agreement with his friend, Toby Alderweireld. I'm getting in getting in a stage of my career that I don't have 15 years in front of me, so I have to choose where I'm gonna play. Do I see myself playing for another club? Not really. She has no idea what's going on. <laughs> when she's 18, she's not saying you're a good dad. Toby's new three-year deal is worth a reputed £20 million pounds, and will keep him at the club until he's 33. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. There are all sorts of um, things you have to think about, you know, um, not only yourself on the pitch as well for your family my family is happy I guess my second child is on the way so all those things is like uh, gets me to the to the moment that I decided like I just want to stay here and, and be a part of this team for the for the next couple of years okay same again with the smile Big news out of Tottenham in the last hour. Their defender, Toby Alderweireld, has signed a new deal to 2023. Now, he would have been able to speak to other clubs about a free transfer from January the 1st. His uh, existing deal was due to expire at the end of the season. Are you coming late, or what? Yes, the money's in the pocket. What's in the pocket? You're coming late. <laughs> Can you say whether you'd like Jan Vertonghen to, to follow Toby? I think uh, a player will sign a contract when the club wants, when the player wants, when the family wants, when the agent wants. If one of these parts doesn't want, it's very, very difficult. Yeah, Toby is an exceptional player and uh, obviously very happy for him. I know there will be one day that's, that's going to be my last uh, 
day here or in my career and I don't like to, to think about it. I still don't know if I'm going to stay here or not. That's, uh, that's the uncertainty, but I still feel very good. So I'm not ready to, to go to places where I, uh, I can't uh, have that ambition. Um, yeah, Spurs is in my heart and uh, the players are in my heart and um, yeah, talking in the, in the future, you know, we don't, uh, we don't know what's going to happen, but probably hopefully when this comes out, I've decided and I know where I am.